y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen, and today I'll be making y'all old-fashioned uh, meatloaf. And it, I added a little things in that I didn't used to use when I, I didn't even know about most of them, but here it goes. Okay, what I'll be using, uh, with well, this meat, I'm starting with the meat. I'm using 93% uh, uh, meat and 7% fat. I didn't want to use this because sometimes, when you're making a meatloaf, I think you should use 83. But this, because 83 got a little more fat in it, and sometimes, you know, meatloaf, you don't want it to be kind of dry. Sometimes 93% make it a little dry, but I'm going to try my best for it not to be dry because when I went in the store, y'all, it's hard to find food now. And this is all they had. I went to Walmart, this is all they had. So this is the meat, and I, I will be using yellow onion. Here's a yellow onion. I'll also be using green onions and here's I got them chopped all of these are chopped and a, a green pepper bell pepper what most people call it and here's a chopped bell pepper and I'm a, a new kick is a jalapeno pepper I'm just gonna I got them chopped very fine I'm gonna just put a little tap in it to get an extra teen also be mixing it with tomato juice and well, of course, eggs I'll be putting in it. And here's my breadcrumbs. I use a I use a hot dog bun because when you're making um, meatloaf, sometimes uh, the white bread or wheat bread, whatever you choose, is don't make good enough. The crumbs is not, they're too light. But these right here, it's best to me to use a hamburger bun, a hot dog bun, and so because you have that coarseness in on top of it. And also, did I mention... Um, the brown gravy, I'm gonna, when I do, get through making, I'm going to cover it with ketchup, and I'm also going to cover it with brown gravy. It's not a Salisbury steak now. It's, it'll be meatloaf, but a lot of people, I, when I was coming up, we always had brown gravy on us versus ketchup, but most people now are eating it with ketchup, but I'm going to show you about the brown gravy. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, st get this together. It was, I had four and a half pounds of meat, and that was a little too much, because I'm going to make two loaves, one for the, I'm going to try to get two, it might not be a full loaf, but it'll be two uh, meat loaves, I'm going to have one that I put brown gravy on, and I'm going to have one that I put uh, ketchup on, okay, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to take and put all my ingredients I, with some onions, and like I said, a rule when you're doing onion, my hands, I got clean gloves. Take and spread it all the way across the meat. And most time when you do like that, you'll know you got enough. Just spread across the, your meat or whatever you're cooking. You know, your vegetables or what, then you, when you have it spread, that's a that's a, a rule for me is knowing I got enough. And these onions and stuff, I, I always do a lot of onions and stuff because I use them with other things. You know, I have them, I put them in a, I put them in a, in a little, uh, uh, something like this for the container, and I uh, these are green peppers called bell pepper green peppers. I'm gonna spread all this in meatloaf. If, if you know one thing about meatloaf, you have to have green uh, bell pepper because that's what makes it taste good. And I don't add all of that other stuff. And like I said, these are the only ingredients I use. This is what we simple and it tastes good. You make it simple and it can taste good. So I got my green peppers, and this right here. And the reason I'm adding my vegetable first because I wanted to go through these are green onions. I put a yellow onion, these are green onions. Put it all the way across it. And these right here, I never I, I tried this one time and it's good. I'm just putting a little of these uh uh, jalapeno peppers. It's going to get a little taint. I'll put a lot of them in there. Unless you hot like hot food. Some people might use uh, red peppers. I just like this better because it's fresh. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and uh, mix all this together. Make sure I got enough. Mix it in there good. Seems like it's a lot, but it's not because you're going to put the breadcrumbs in there. And one thing about uh, meat uh, meatloaf, you can put as much vegetables you want in there as long as they're chopped really fine because you don't want to see all them vegetables sticking out and stuff. As long as they're chopped fine and stir them up good. See, when you do it like this, add your vegetables first so it can go through the meat. And by a rule... This, like I said, this is about two and a half pounds, almost to probably three, closer to three pounds. An egg for each pound, one egg for each pound. And it's stirring it up good so all these vegetables can go through it. That's what you want to do. And make your vegetables as small as you can 
without using, you know, you can use a, a, a ground if you want to. They so cheap, but I don't like, I like chopping my vegetables. I enjoy chopping them, but I do it off camera to save time because, like I said, they don't hardly look at a, a, a long video. You can waste your time. But I'd rather for you to finish the video and enjoy it for every step, so I chop off the camera. So like I said, I'm mashing all these vegetables, and you're not going to see them. They're going to cook good and mash them in there. Like I said, this was three, about, about, about three pounds of ground beef, the egg per pound. So now I'm going to beat these eggs up. I'm going to add these slowly, but beat them up now. These are three eggs. I'm going to put a little bit in there. I'm not going to put all these at one time because I don't want this real wet. So I'm going to pour some of these in here. This is about two. Then mix this. And that over there, make sure you use gloves, especially for meat though. Now these vegetables, see that wasn't a lot of vegetables, but you want your vegetables all through your meat. The, vest, the vegetables really enhance the, uh, the taste. I put a little jalapeno pepper, just a little bit. I put yellow onion. I had green onions and bell peppers. Those are only vegetables you really need. You don't have to put all. Some people put celery, but I don't think celery go good with meatloaf. But if you like celery in your meatloaf, don't let me stop you. Use it. Okay, and I'm going to put a little. This is tomato juice, not ketchup. Tomato juice. I'm going to put a lot in there. This makes it taste so much better than that ketchup. Some people put ketchup in it. But try to use tomato juice. If you don't have tomato juice, then go ahead and use uh, tomato ketchup. Yeah. I always put your breadcrumbs in last because you don't know how much the breadcrumbs is going to, you know, if it's too wet, you think it's too wet, it'll hold it together. But you don't want too many breadcrumbs in there. Make sure your vegetables all the way through it. And when you put the vegetable first, it's kind of make, make give it taste. So now here's my breadcrumbs. I'm going to put some breadcrumbs. I'm going to sprinkle it all the way across. Like these are little coarse hot dog uh, buns. I ground it up in my grinder. You can use hamburger, and if you don't have hamburgers, uh, a ground, uh, a hamburger, a uh, hot dog, you use white bread or wheat bread, whatever you choose. It's the same thing, but to me, the uh, they work better. And I'm gonna mix this up good, and I got everything in. The one more thing I'm gonna put in it, y'all might not put that in there. Instead of getting the meatloaf package, you don't really need that. It's too much seasoning to me. I use. It's almost like I want it. Turn it over and mix it good now. I love meat though, honey. Did y'all see my uh, vegetable chicken? That is so, it was so good. I ate it. I ate off of that for three days. Like I said, it's, it's healthy. The only thing that wouldn't be healthy is the sodium. Now I'm going to get the, uh, 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 put that, that's okay. I'm going to put some brown gravy mix in here. And salt and pepper. I'm put. I forgot my salt. See, how sometimes you can forget things until you start. That's why it's best to have all your ingredients out. Kind of shake a little bit. So I'm gonna put. I had been under the weather a lot. Uh, sciatic nerve. I had that. Uh, it's horrible. I couldn't hardly walk. But I'm doing much better now. This is a pack of gravy mix. Okay, I'll get back with y'all. I forgot to mention salt and pepper. You know, I forgot to mention it. That's why I said sometimes when you're cooking, since I know that I didn't put it in there, some people don't, but make sure you put, I'll get all your ingredients out. You don't have to put that much salt in there, but you still want to make sure that it's got salt in there. I don't put no garlic in there. If I had to put any garlic, I would have put uh, fresh garlic. But I didn't use garlic. I just use the brown gravy mix package. And I'm going to mix this up. And you know what? And I'm going to taste this meat, too. Some people taste it. I mean, in Germany, they used to eat raw hamburger meat. So I'm going to stir this up and see do I need any more breadcrumbs or put some salt on this side and pepper on this side. Yeah. See, that's good. See how you can see it? That's good. You take it like this right here. And shape your little ball, see? 
And that's, let you know it's good. But I'm going to put a little bit more pepper and salt in here. Might put a little bit more tomato juice in here too. A little bit of bread crumbs. I'm putting a little bit of bread crumbs. Not too much. So you know it's good. You don't want it to be a uh, now, this don't have a lot of adding. You can look at the meat and tell it. But meat low, like I say, this is 93. 80, 83 is a good thing from, uh, good for meat low. 83 is good. So, I'm going to take and put, I'm touching now these. My, I wipe my package and stuff off. Now, this is going in here. Okay, get this one. Put a little bit more in there. Because this is a season. You know, some people use those meat low packages. I like to use this better. This tastes better. Cause they have too much seasoning in those uh, packages. I don't like those seasoning. I mean, it's each his own. Mm -mm. Some salt on this side. You don't need very much salt because, like I say, uh, and I might put a little bit more tomato juice in here. Pepper is okay. The gravy is salty. A little salty, not all that salt, but it's salty. And like I say, you mix it really good. And when I touch the package and stuff, they be out being wiped off for everything I have. Because even if you're using your hands, you're going to touch packages sometimes. And when the, they say, I always say, when the food cooked, is sterilized. But I try to be as clean as I can. You know, and so I'm going to put a little bit more tomato juice in there. I had to go get the tomato juice, y'all, so I'm going to add a little bit more in here. Don't use ketchup. I don't like ketchup. Some people do because you're going to put ketchup on top of it anyway. Try to use uh, put this out the way. Try to use uh, tomato juice if you can, but if you don't have it, use uh, use, uh, you can use ketchup. It won't hurt. Like I was saying before, that my vegetable, my fried corn is really good. And those vegetable chicken is for people. And the reason I'm using hamburger meat and stuff, it's kind of cheaper than other meats. Things are so high now. And some people just don't have money to, you know, buy all of those, that different types of meat and stuff. And that fast food, I went to the Subway and had a sub. I got very sick. I hear a lot of people saying food poison is going around. So y'all have to be careful. It's best to cook your own, make your own subs. Okay, I'm getting ready to shake these. I'm going to put them in Put them in here. I don't really have to shake. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to shape it myself. That's a way. I never use. Some people use a loaf pan. I don't. I just try to get, because I'm like I said, I'm making two meat loaves. One for gravy, brown gravy, and the other one for um, for ketchup. Put both of them in here. I'm kind of having about equal. If one bigger than the other, it don't matter. Like, they don't taste. Okay, I'm going to shape these. When you're shaping them, I'm used to shaping them. Just try to match them in, match them in the same way I did my salmon croquettes. Make sure they're smooth and matched in really good. Make your loaf light. You don't have to have a loaf pan. Just shape them like in a loaf. And shape them really good. Make sure I'm going to shape this and then I'm going to get back with that one and shape it good. Probably shape them real pretty off camera, like I said. They about the same size. Maybe one might be a little bigger than the other one. Go on the sides and mash them in and smooth them in. But I definitely like that 83% that better. Shape them good. Make sure you ain't so they won't bust open. It's not the way they're shaped that make it taste good. It's what you put in them. And my meat will always be good, simple, but really good. The, the onions and stuff I put in there and all that. That look good. They'll be going getting ready for the oven pretty soon. I get them shaping them. 
Okay, I'm going to get back with you when I shake the other one, mash this in, make sure none of the sides of the vegetable are not sticking out. Okay, I shaped them good, and I got two loaves from three, not three pounds, maybe three pounds with two loaves. I made two loaves, and I got my oven heated to 325 because, you know, you don't want to cook meat low. I had it on 350. That's what let me change this to 325 because they're kind of small. It takes a meat low about... 45 minutes to an hour to cook in the oven and stuff. Don't cook them too fast. Cook it like probably 325. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and put it on top of it to cook, you know, this more for because I don't want it to dry out. And then once it gets almost done, I'm going to take them and take it off. But I cover mine. You don't have to, but I do. Because I want mine to cook all the way through. And I don't cover it that good. I just have it on setting on top. And I'm getting ready to put this in the oven. And I'm going to get back with you all. Okay, my meatloaf cooked about, uh, that one looks shaped like a little bean. But anyway, my meatloaf cooked for about, I said an hour and about 15 minutes. So I'm getting ready to put some, uh, I got the gravy. I made some brown, put gravy on one of them. I'm going to put ketchup on the other one. It's up to you, how you, your choice. I, I made some gravy. I made it, uh, I'm pouring it on here. That's up to you, it, to get a little bit on that don't matter. That's for people, I'm, it's just for presentation, but if I was just making it, let this cook on there. So how it look, some people like it like this, and some people like it with ketchup. Okay. Some people like it with just ketchup. I'm gonna put this in the oven for a while. Let it sit on there. Spread it on there and let it brown a little bit in the oven. And it's ready. That's all it was. Hope you enjoyed my little presentation. I'm going to take it out and let it stay in the oven for about mm, a good. I think I like that one better with the gravy on. I'm going to put this in for a good tip brown. I might put it on broil because it's already done. I just, and the, the uh, gravy is warm. I'm going to put it on broil. And I'll get back with you in about five minutes. Okay, I completed the, my presentation. Now, now, here's the one that I added the gravy to. I said some people like the gravy, and this tastes re really good. It's soft and tender, and uh, I follow my instructions, and yours could look the same way. That's how we used to eat it. Now, I'm going to show you the one with the uh, tomato sauce on. I mean, I'm sorry, with the ketchup on. Now, here's my second presentation with the uh, to, uh, tomato ketchup on. I kind of like the one with the gravy on, but it's up to you all, because you all used to eating it with the uh, with the tomatoes, ketchup. But please don't forget to tune into Maddie's Kitchen, share it with friends and family, and don't forget to, don't forget to hit that notification bell, so you will be the first one to know when I upload another video. And thank you for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen, and have a great day.